Hey, what's going on, guys? Willis here, back with another Genshin Impact video. So, I wanted to make a quick video, guys, on how to pretty much level up your, I guess, teapot house, let's call it. There's a new update today on Genshin. I'll go into that in a bit. Um, before we jump into today's video, I want to let you guys know of the 10,000 Primo Gem giveaway that I'm running. Uh, support this video with a like. Leave a comment down below. Uh, obviously, if you want to go enter the giveaway, join the Discord. Discord.gg slash Willis. Go to the Genshin giveaway channel and enter there for a chance to win up to 10,000 Primo Gems. You don't want to miss out. Go enter. It's completely free. Yeah, let's jump into uh, today's video. So yeah, 1.5 is live. I know a lot of you have been asking, especially today on stream, uh, how I can level up uh, my teapot or I guess Tubby. Everyone seems to love Tubby. He is the, I guess, the vendor person for... Uh, the realm now here we go so you get this thing called trust rank essentially uh yeah trust rank pretty much gives you rewards every time you level up here so it's pretty much like the uh adventure rank almost in you get primo gems you also get this thing here called the vial of adeptal uh speed which i'll go into in a bit you also get blueprints there's a lot of stuff i want to mention in this video which you should not do and uh, I'm going to go into that now. So here's the things you don't want to do if you're looking to level up as quick as possible. So when you come over to Tubby here, he's going to have these things where you can create furniture like this. The first time you make an item, as you can see here, the first time I make this, I'll actually get 60 trust rank. Uh, if you make the same item over and over again, you won't get trust rank. So the best thing you can literally be doing is making each one of these items at least once. Uh, because you'll get the little uh, icon here. If it has this icon in the corner, it means you're going to get XP from crafting that item. Now, you can actually speed these uh, crafting up by using the these things here, the Vial of Adeptal Speed, which are pretty much only acquired from leveling up Tubby, unfortunately. Now, if you want to get your Trust Rank up super, super quick, here's a lot of stuff you can do. So, uh, obviously, we've got the Realm Depot here. A lot of people are going to go straight in and they're just going to be buying all of this furnishings here don't do that trust me don't do that i know it's very tempting to do it don't do it because what you actually need to do is get the blueprints instead because when you actually craft uh the blueprints for the first time you get xp yes you get xp so what i'd recommend doing instead of going through the furnishings here and buying all of these don't do that i know it's very tempting to get all these fancy trees go to the blueprints and get the blueprints you actually need uh, but before you do that, obviously, you need to make sure you have your um, your level up here. What's it called? It's basically this thing here. I guess you're, you're uh, standing with him. So if you actually come over to Tubby, he has this sort of like reputation here. It is... So you go to Trust Rank and then you have the uh, Adeptal Energy. That's what it's called. So the Adeptal Energy is important because this actually lets you get uh, the Realm Currency, which is pretty much used for getting everything like this is used for getting all the items you need the realm currency you don't want to waste this because you only get so much of it um and to get more of this you need to make sure your adeptal energy is very high and to get your adeptal energy high you just need to put items down you need to um put items all around you need to put just random items put as many items as you can i know this is gonna suck if you don't have the items you want but if you actually go to your crafting menu and you have items that you haven't put down yet like if if you just go to any of these tabs and you don't have items that you've put down yet put them down because every item you put down it will give you adeptal energy this also counts for stuff inside the house as well as obviously as, as well as the stuff outside the house so just put stuff down uh even if you don't like the location of it like literally here you can see i put all these rocks here just so i can fill the space because the more items you have down obviously the more adeptal energy you will have now a very good way as well to actually get more adeptal energy is by making these things called sets now sets are groups of items together that you can put down at once so an example of a set is i think i put one down here actually yeah in the woods here so i actually put down this one here and this gives 21 adeptal energy and that's way more than you would get from putting all of these items down separately so it may even be worth making the sets so if you can make sets you get a lot of this adaptable energy as you can see here this one gives you 39 but unfortunately i don't have this tree and i think i'm missing these fences so uh putting all these items down separately is not worth it if you can uh make the set so you definitely want to go for making sets 
Uh, sets is definitely the way. There's indoor sets as well, but I'm just showing you guys the outside sets example. So what you want to do to level up quick, right? You've just started. First thing you want to do, come over to your um, furnishings here. And you pretty much want to make every single uh, blue item you can. Start with the blue items first, if you can. And try and leave the green ones um, unless you are able to complete a set. The blue ones are going to give you a lot. Obviously, do the purple ones if you can. Because those are going to give you even more. And make sure you craft them at least once. Next, what you want to do is... Now, this is going to require some Mora. There are actually hidden vendors around the map that people don't know about. Now, the first hidden vendor is located here in Mondstadt. We're going to go to him right now. So go to this waypoint by here. And I'll meet you guys there. So he's pretty much located next to the Knights of uh, Favonius right here. You come around and he'll be right by the little uh, fountain over here. Now, he's actually going to sell you some furniture or furniture blueprints, which is very, very important because this will allow you to get more XP. So here you go. They're quite expensive. They're like 50k each. So you kind of want to, yeah. They're quite expensive. He sells these blueprints. Every time you craft these for the first time, you get a bunch of XP. So buy them up. Trust me. You also get the Adventurer Camp as well. This is the set, the Adventurer Camp set. So very, very good. Um, another vendor. I think there's one more vendor. So this one's actually in Leeway. You want to come to the Quingston uh, Village and just travel there. All right. I'll meet you guys there. So we're in Quingston Village. You want to come across this bridge here. Now, I forgot to mention, make sure it's daytime when you're visiting these people. Otherwise, they might not be there. So if they're not there for you, just come back in the daytime, right? This guy is actually over here. I'm pretty sure this guy's here day and night. But the other dude, I'm pretty sure he only comes in the daytime. So here we have Master Lou. Now, Master Lou is actually going to sell us some items. I've pretty much already bought these. But here, he's going to sell you the Lone and Cautious Adventure Set and the Dialogue Twix Ancient Tree and Rock Set. Sets are huge, like I said, guys. He's also going to sell the Adventurer's Burdens items here. Now, when you have these sets, you basically just want to go back to your island and make them for the first time. You want to prioritize making the blue items, as you can see here. Prioritize making the blue items because these are going to give you the most amount of XP. And obviously that XP will then translate to the trust. And yeah, just earning more coins and coins. But that's pretty much it. You want to make sure you just don't waste all of your um, realm currency, as it's called, on just buying furniture. You want to make sure you get the blueprints. The blueprints are just way more important than uh, buying just furniture flat out. Crafting it and then placing it is better than just buying it already crafted and then placing it. That's the biggest tip I can give. Um, I think right now I'm almost... I think I'm capped on the amount of uh, adeptal energy I can get. So obviously... This is something you're going to have to do every single day. Uh, log in, obviously collect your coins. I'm getting 16 per hour. If I was one level higher, I'd be getting 20 per hour. So you can see the more items you put down, the more adeptal energy. And then there you go. Like 20k, you get 30 an hour, which is nuts. So 30 coins an hour, what's that going to buy you? That's going to buy you a lot. Like if you log in in like 24 hours, you're going to have so many coins. So I think, like I said, the best thing you can do right now is get as much adeptal energy as you can just so you're benefiting from obviously when you're not playing you're just stacking up a bunch of coins for the next time you log in you're just ready you're just ready to go but that's pretty much the best tips i can give guys if you are looking to level up super quick don't forget to jump in the discord subscribe to the channel if you're new be sure to turn on the bell notifications and i will see you guys in my next video peace